Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Hello, my name is Kevin Todd, a veterinarian from Reed City, Michigan. My family's pulled horses for three generations. Um, we're uh, here at St. Jude's, the benefit pull in Topeka, Indiana. We're uh, having this benefit for the eighth year now, trying to raise money. All the money, everybody donates everything, goes straight to St. Jude's. Hi, my name is Tom Hospital. Brown. I'm here to support the St. Jude's Children's Hospital with a polling going on. It kind of went hand in hand eight years ago. Um, we started to uh, have a pull and uh, raise money for St. Jude's kids. And uh, we've done well. This is our eighth year annual year. And we've had a lot of support over the years with the horsemen coming from 1,000 to 1,200 miles away, donating their time, donating the horses, the whole nine yards. 100% um, today goes to the St. Jude's. And uh, today we're looking to have a very successful day and we wanna thank Rick and Tina for the, uh, the uh, barn that we use today. It's a Topeka sale barn. 
and uh, what a nice facility they had here. It's brand new, and uh, we hope to raise 25, 30 thousand today. Over the last year, we raised just a little over 100 thousand, and uh, it just puts a feather in all of our hat when when you can do something for a kid. We just have a love for kids, and you know when you see them little kids on TV, it touches your heart. And uh, all these pullers kind of come off a little rough neck. But, yeah. but when something like this happens, they're all here to support us. This isn't cheap for no. them to come here. No. With gas prices and time no. and everything. Motels and got a lot involved here and they're pulling for nothing today. And, and as you could see, some of them went in the 50-50. First thing they do is donate it right back to the cause. Yep, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, it's a good bunch of people. We added this pony pull a couple years ago because we wanted to get the kids involved. And as you can see today, we had some kids come from 2,550 miles away, Washington, D.C. And uh, the little boy won the pole. Great horseman, great sportsman. Then two older guys throw the towel in, and that boy won the pole. So what a, what a good deal. You've seen people helping each other. Uh, in the little class there, the first and second place was helping each other. Um, that's what it's all about, sportsmanship sportsmanship and then we're gonna have a big auction here today we got a lot of things donated nice things donated and like I said everything we make today goes to the St. Jude's 100 percent but we probably have uh, you know ten fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff donated today you've been doing this for how long pulling your whole life yeah whole you life doing? yep since I was 16 years old I'm 53 now yeah so you've seen families Kids grow up to be parents, to have their kids that grow up to be parents, to have right. pulling in the family for generations. When you take your kids to a pull with you, you know where they're at. Yep, yep. Well, we, we always have it like May, like last year it was May 1st, of course the COVID come in, and this is our eighth annual um, year, and I really didn't, we kind of played it by ear, you know, to, to see if we could still have it, and then Indiana opened up, and, and I still wanted to, to have it so we don't miss a year if if not yeah and uh um so indiana opened up and rick opened up to his place and rick and tina did and that's why we're here i always had this at my place we run out of room and uh so we moved to indiana and we got a good bunch of people and we're gonna go may 2nd next year okay may 2nd yep and that'll be where i think it's gonna be at the mech center in ships one indiana oh okay the well, mech center yep, yep. Okay, yep. great. We're going to spread it around, spread the cheer around a little bit. And, yep. I did this for the, the pulling. The pulling goes, we're pulling for St. Jude's. Yes. It went hand in hand. Right. And it, like I said, it just put a feather in the puller's hat. And and, and, and I called a couple of buddies said, hey, I think about having a pull. And they said, when and where and we'll be there. So that's the kind of people we are. You know. It's kind of the American way, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yep. You'd be broke down along the road like, you know, we got play, people come out and stay at my place. Um, everybody's willing to put your horses up, put you guys up. We're one big family is what it amounts to. And it takes several little groups like us to make St. Jude's happen. It costs a million and a half a day to run the hospital. And uh, maybe someday we can run it. We don't know. But um, And I did have a family that was down there. And... Um, of course, they wouldn't take the first dollar. The husband stayed down there, and they give him a check, a work check. They said, what are you doing for a job? He said, well, right now I don't have one. I'm here. Right. They give him a paycheck every week. So he can keep things going. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. That's what kind of place that is. So they can focus on the kids. Yep, yep, yep. That's what kind of place it is. Yeah, it's an amazing You know, when they move a little kid from room to room, they use a little flyer wagon you know, instead of wheelchairs and all that stuff all the time. They try to make it as so kid friendly. Kids, kids. You bet. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. One thing I noticed about these ponies is they don't have a clue how small they are, do they? No. Nope. They really don't. No. Nope. That pair we pulled here today, we pulled them six years, and they've never been beaten a 38 inch class in their class. They pull great. Yeah. Yep. How do you train them? How do you condition them? Hey, we just work them on a little work sled every day, you know. That pair only gets worked a half hour a day, but. Several little kids I brought out of the crowd as drove them and won them a trophy and put a big smile on their face. They sure get together. They pull together. Yep. They really Everything's 
this one, two, three, boom, it's just yeah, clockwork. Right, you can tell. Yep, yep. And they responded when you tell them to hope. Yeah. They, yep. they're, they're, um, they pay attention. Really broke. We published our first draft horse wall calendar over 40 years ago, and every year since we've found the most interesting and beautiful photos of a variety of draft horse breeds performing a wide assortment of activities, from hauling families on a sleigh ride to feeding cattle, performing before an appreciative crowd, or preparing a seedbed for planting. Our photos capture the power and grace of these gentle giants. Made in the USA of the best materials, these calendars are wire-bound to lay flat against the wall and feature large date squares for recording important events or appointments. They're only $16.95 postage paid. Prices go down as you buy more. Visit www.ruralheritage.com or call toll-free 1-877-647-2452. That's www.ruralheritage.com or 1-877-647-2452. My name is Kevin Todd. I'm a, a horse puller and veterinarian from Reed City, Michigan. Uh, I've been pulling horses about 30 years as long as I've been a veterinarian. Uh, we, we have a couple of clinics up in the uh, northern Michigan area. Um, we also, like I say, pull horses, so we're involved in building this truck. One of the trucks in our area got sold and so we didn't have one. And also to practice and be competitive with everybody in the industry, we needed one, so I decided to take the challenge and build this thing. Just want to explain to you a little bit about how it works. If we step over here, this is where the hook is, where the horses hook on. At this point, there's a cable that runs underneath the truck on pulleys. Way down under there. Comes up here on the top out of the bed. Comes up to the top hooks on a couple of other pulleys and then it picks up this weight, this stack of weights. When this stack of weights is picked up, the object is for the truck to pick the stack of weights up, then we, we measure how, many, how much they're picking up. So at this, for instance, it's set up for pick 2,500 pounds up. We need it to pick it up once it picks up and it's like mimicking picking up out of a hole. If you had 2,500 pounds in a hole, picked it up over a pulley. If you did that though, and the, pull it, the horses were out there 20 feet and you decided to stop, it would pull the horses all the way back. And so we can't, we can't have that. So this truck, what the truck is designed to, is to set up different resistances to be able to hold the weights up in this spot in the middle. As long as it's in the middle, the horses are holding it up. And then at that point, you are pulling just the weights and the truck is coming along. So the, be the, ho the truck is designed to sit still till the weights are up and then the truck will come. Different ways that we do to, a to adjust this as we add the weight is, is this valve right here that this, this uh, arm is hooked to. We change the holes in there. If we hold that down further, the valve doesn't open up once the truck starts and doesn't allow the truck to move. The PTO underneath the truck right here is hooked to that valve. And then the truck itself is hooked to the, the drivetrain. The truck is not in gear. It's in, the, the clutch is hooked down, so you're not pulling the motor. You're just using the rear end of the truck. We actually have three lights that we have to set up here, so this is a warning system for the person operating. The top light is the clutch is pushed in, the PTO is on, and it's always in reverse. The truck is so you'll see these lights come on they're also up there in the back they're kind of covered up with the banner right now but that allows the truck tell to be to ready go. tell us to go with another thing see it down there it's got that chain running yeah, from there on up to the top and there's also little sprockets up there when we designed the truck by changing those sprockets it allows it to adjust it and that's why the truck works well this skid like i say is just sitting here now but at one point, like on 3,800 or so, we will put that underneath the tire. And that's another way for the truck to sit back so that when the weights come up, it allows you to pick the weights up before the truck comes. It also mimics if somebody was sitting in a chair. I always tell people this. If you had a chair sitting out here in the middle with a pulley on it, trying to pull weight towards the chair and towards me, if you had somebody little sitting in the chair trying to pull the weight, you could do it. Once you get enough weight out there, then you need somebody bigger in the chair, otherwise the chair is just gonna come. Well, the truck is the chair. 
Yep, the weight is over there. So that's what you're kind of mimicking. If the, if the weights are in the middle, you're not pulling the truck. If they're clear to the top, if they're on the bumper, then you are pulling on the truck. If they did it down here, it's designed that you can't pull it. That's what allows the truck to sit there. Okay, and so um, the weights go up, but they can't come down until they're released? Well, the horses, that's up to the horse. Holding the, the horses are holding it up until they're done. Yeah, if they're pulling it along and they can, they're able to hold it up and keep going, everything's free. They're okay. just pulling on that okay. way. There is a quite a, this truck is designed to have a taller, a taller uh, tower, we call it. Okay. So once they get up there, there's a little more forgiveness. So in other words, if the horse falls down, he can pick himself back up and still go because he can drop it this much and it's still going to pull the same. If you're too low to the bottom and you don't have the weights picked up, if you drop it, you're going to shut the valve some. And then mate, when he gets up, it's going to pull harder. So, so if they, they're aggressive, they don't have to be hard at it. But if they're aggressive, they can pull the thing very smoothly. Just like to thank Larry and Ben, Ben Reed, Steve Steffens. Steve Steffens, my one arm buddy. Help me made the thing. Hi, I'm Joe Mishka of Rural Heritage Magazine. I'm on location of one of the many events we cover that celebrates our rural heritage. If you enjoy our show, check out our magazine, where you'll learn more about the people that blend the past with what works today. You can save almost 20% off the newsstand price by subscribing at ruralheritage.com or chat with us at 877-647-2452. That's toll free, 877-647-2452. And we see the horses out here today, you know, they, these horses are bred for pulling. You know, and sometimes they stumble and fall, and the ponies you saw today stumble and fall, but, you know, they're, they're very well taken care of. I am take care of them better than I do myself. So, um, you, can, you can say that the horses are very athletes just like anybody else. Football players have, have injuries, so do the horses, but they're very well taken care of, and uh, it's a very safe sport. Rarely do you see many injuries, but when you do, you know, they, just like anybody else, just have to take care of them. You know, the horses are way more valuable than what we win. We do it for fun. You know, today nobody's going to make any money. It's all the donation. But, and a lot of the prize money, you know, uh, is very minimal for compared to what it costs to do it. So it's a hobby, you know, and, and winning the trophy and stuff, the com com competition and the, the competitive uh, spirit is what we're after, I guess. So... I used to have a horse that you'd pull him out there and you thought, boy, he ain't going to pull the first load. But by the fifth load, he just kind of come to it. He was just new. There's no sense overexerting yourself on this first one. And he just saved it. But yes, they understand 100% what you're doing. And they're very good at that. As much as you can say an animal enjoys something, would you say they enjoy it? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And, and as a sport, we pick out the ones that do. You know, just like people, some people are meant to you know, to be singers and some people are meant to be, you know, painters. So the horses, the same thing. Some of them just aren't, that's not their ticket. So people get different ones that enjoy this and are good at it. It's, it's competitive. Very competitive, yep. But it's a family out there. Very much so. Everybody helps everybody else, you bet. They really do. And they want everyone else to do well. They do, yep. I, you know, most of these people are my clients. I do veterinary work for them. They've come to my house. You know, they stay overnight. We have fun pulls. You know, we're very, very tight-knit people clear across the United States. Uh, a lot of us go to Florida in February and stay together and have a, you know, kind of a reunion. People all over the United States. So it's a very tight-knit family. up there but uh, the Humber family uh, and myself we donated that to this event here today 
Uh, Humbert's got the wood and I got the stuff put in there. Uh, I, I'm not crazy about shadow boxes, but I want to tell you what, when he brought that in, that is one of the coolest things. It's got a double mirror in it, and we certainly do appreciate their support of this. It takes a lot to make this thing go off. Tom Brown uh, does a ton of work, but folks, if we don't have a place to have it, then we don't get to have it. So folks, we cannot express our appreciation and gratitude for them letting us do this here today. Uh, so let's give them a great big round of applause before we get rolling on this auction. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.